I joined uh, the Foreign Survey Service because I wanted to see if I could play a small role in, in dealing with the East-West relationship, the Cold War at the time. I went, I started in our security policy uh, uh, department working on NATO issues. I went to Vienna uh, for the negotiations on the CFA, CFE treaty, the Treaty on Unconventional Forces in Europe back in 1989. I was sitting at the NATO side of the desk on the other side of the, uh, the hallway. We had the Warsaw Pact. We saw the Warsaw Pact falling apart during the negotiations, but we managed to nail a negotiation uh, and a result that actually also helped shaping uh, the Europe we know today, but only thanks to, to NATO and I was part of, of that process. My name is Peter Saxo Jensen. I'm the Danish ambassador to the United States. I think today NATO is uh, one of the ways that that for me is the enabler for us to play a role globally. Uh, we saw that in Libya. Uh, I remember we were sending our jets and they already flew and we were asking where's the command and we wanted US command or NATO command because that's what our soldiers are trained to do. NATO is our gateway, gateway to global security. It's through NATO that we go to Afghanistan and all the other places where we try to give, uh, to give our hand to solve global security issues. I think if you look at the alliance 20 years ago, it was a very, very different alliance from the one we have today. So what do we have to do? We have to assess what are the challenges uh, that we're facing and then continue adapting the alliance to the new challenges. The world of the 21st century is a very different world from the 20th century in the, in, in the, in the sense that we are seeing emerging powers coming up. I think we should see that as a positive, not as, an, as, uh, as something negative. But it also means that some of our values uh, are, will come uh, a little bit under pressure because our way of life is being and can be challenged by, by other ways of, 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 of thinking. And even though we talk about the pivot to Asia and focus on Asia, I think we should realize that what is happening in this new development in the world is that we're not going to be pushed apart in the alliance. We're going to be pushed closer together because of our values. It's very important to remember that NATO is one of the, the important frameworks to ensure and nurture that we use that opportunity to continue to promote Western values uh, in the rest of the world. Why? Because we believe that's the best way of life.